Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a two-parter. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this lovely ice cream sundae as inspired by Kirsty Meakin on her YouTube channel, which I will pop the link down below to the actual video that I was watching. So first of all, I'm going in and building the glass part of the sundae and I'm just building up layers of acrylic. So first one that I used there was CJP Candy Apple. And then I've gone in with Ink London's Blanchet on top of that. And then it's gonna be CJP Chestnut Pot. And then I'll be using CJP Tooth Fairy as well. So there will be the colours that I will be layering up here. So as you can see, I'm looking quite wet with these because you, you do want them to slightly run into each other as if it is ice cream. Okay, so I'm gonna file that now, just so I've got a nice smooth base to pop my clear acrylic onto, because I'm gonna cap this nail in a sec once I've filed it. So I'm gonna go in with crystal glass and I'm just gonna cap all of these colors. So I filed this off camera and buffed it and I'm just going in with CJP LED top gloss and I'm just gonna cure that for 60 seconds. And then when it comes out the lamp, I'm gonna be using eye gel, clear eye gel from Ink London and I'm just popping in some lines on this to make it look more of a Sunday glass because obviously Sunday glasses, they have these little ripples on them, don't they? So I'm just Going in with these lines with a striping brush. I'm actually curing these, or well, flash curing this in between each line, just so I know it's set and it doesn't run anywhere.
I'm now going in with the clear eye gel again and I'm just going to be popping in a base of that glass at the bottom with the striping brush again and then I'll be going in with the top of the glass popping in like a bit of a thicker rim as well so I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to be curing this for 60 seconds. Right, that's all cured and because it is hard jelly it does have a tacky layer so i'm just wiping that off with some client cleanser and now i'm just gonna pop some ice cream in that sunday glass so i'm going in with blanchet again from ink london just draining out the li excess liquid of that i want it to be a bit moldable don't want to be looking too wet on this bit so i'm just popping a bead there and i'm basically just going to keep going with the different colors that I've used uh, in the glass. And I'm just gonna be popping random beads, small beads, bigger beads, until I'm happy with how that Sunday looks. So using candy apple again, I'm just going to pop a little cherry. Why do I keep saying pop? I'm, <laughs> I'm putting um, a cherry on the top of it. So I've drained the excess liquid out of that and I'm just, just uh, patting it with my brush. And I'm just going to let that set. So I decided it didn't look real enough so I'm just going in with little beads of acrylic and I'm just adding some drips to the ice cream just to give it that more realistic look. So I'm just going to keep going until I'm happy with how that looks.
So the final part to this is I'm adding some strawberry sauce. So I'm just going in with some gel po red gel polish and I'm just adding little bits where I think that the sauce would drip. I would have normally have used the Ink London gel paints, but I left them at the salon. So I'm just going in with its IBD, I can't remember the name, but I will pop it in the description box. So I'm just going in, adding this, so it's looking like some uh, strawberry sauce on there. And then once I'm happy with that, I then do go over that with some of the Premier Gel No White Top Coat. And then I cure that for 60 seconds. So I hope you all enjoyed that video and keep a look out for the next part which will be an ice cream that I do. So if you did like it give it a thumbs up please and please subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!